Hello geeks, how are you doing today? Welcome to the mobile application development using Flutter video series and the topic of today's video is handling user input. So there will not be any app where we don't handle the user input be it be chat application, email application or a to-do app will be having some text input. So let's see how we can handle those text input. As with the earlier videos, I'll start with a stateful widget and I'll create a material app. I'll highly recommend looking a uh, few of my older videos because these, this code is just a continuation of the existing one. So let me start with material app. In the material app home, I will create a scaffold. In the app bar, I'll create a new app bar and let me title as widget dot title and in the body um, let me stick with column in the column children i'll have array of widgets and i'll have widget not some text so this is the basic skeleton of uh, my application let me just go ahead and run it uh, so that to verify at least this is working yes so i can see that uh, my app is working and some text is displayed now to handle the user input we can use text field widget so the best way of uh, using is to just create new text field uh, let it be empty as for now so you can see once i do the hot reload i have here a text field i can do text entry over here Many a times you, you will see some hint text over here, like what you want to enter, uh, enter email, enter password or something like that. That can be displayed in the text field using the decorators. So I'll create new input decorator dot collapsed and hint text I'll add, add something. Let me do a hot reload and i can see this grayed out add something over here it will be going off when i type something but if it is empty string it will say add something so this is not it uh, there are some events we need to handle uh, to make it a fully functional text field some of the events are on changed uh, which gives a string text and i can just give an empty implementation for now and on submitted so string text and empty implementation so you must be wondering what uh, this on change does on submitted it once we submit a text on change is when we change the text uh, just to uh, get an idea let me do a debug print uh, say text is equal to say text and same thing over here on submitted uh, let me submit a text equal to and I have did a hot reload and let me try to type in something like hello as you can see on change every time I change something it's getting printed and uh, hello this if I print a say enter I, if I just press the enter it submitted text will display it. So you know on change will get called every time anything is changed over here and on submitted will get called every time I, I press the submit button. Uh, let me uh, do one thing that I want to display some text over here. Uh, so uh, we can do something like this. Uh, we can create a string called text or value with an empty string. And what I will do, I'll assign value to text here also, and here also. And I'll create another widget called new text. Um, let me put it down and it will just print value. Uh, I just want to reload it again. So uh, as you might have recalled that uh, to reflect this value, I need to redraw the widget and the way to redraw is to call set state. So I'm calling set state over here and I'm 
printing the value over here. Let me go ahead and save it, hot reload, and let me say hello. This is so as you can see that as and when I am changing this, uh, this is getting reflected over here. So uh, there are other cases that um, if I just want to uh, reflect it over here only when it's submitted, I can just get rid of this and do do a hot reload and let's see this is a test once i print enter it will happen after that if i again go ahead and say hello flutter if i press enter it will reflect over here now uh, there are one additional thing that you want that uh, this hello flutter should should be i mean replaced with the empty string every time you submit it this can be done using text editing controller so let me create a text editing controller e c t r l c t r l equal to new text editing controller and this controller will be passed as a controller of the text field okay. now once we submitted uh, this text we can say e controller dot clear now let's see i have did a hot reload and i am saying this this is a test and i am pressing a enter it gets cleared uh, this this is a test which printed and it gets clear and also anything it gets printed and clear printed and clear that's the way text editing controller is useful in making a change in the state of the text field Similarly, this value may not need it to be text because text editing controller has this value. So if I do e controller dot text, it has the same effect. So I did a hot reload and you can see it, it is having the same impact over here. So that's the way uh, text editing controller is used in uh, handling the user input. So that's uh, pretty much all about in this video. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Thanks.